Hi guys! So today's video is going to be my July favorites and let me just say I cannot believe how fast this month has flown by and we're already four days into August. It's seriously just blowing my mind how this year is almost over. Um, yeah, so I know everybody says that but seriously this year has just flown by. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be doing my July favorites. I don't have too many things here to show you. Um, so I'm going to start with just a little tiny quick haul. And it's just four things. So the first things I picked up are from Bath & Body Works. And I believe this is a new scent from them. It's the Velvet Sugar uh, line. I got the Triple Moisture Body Cream and then the Fragrance Mist. I got this because... I wanted like a lighter perfumey thing for my purse and I had a free coupon um, like a free signature item something like that so I got the spray and then I got the triple body moisture cream or the triple moisture body cream which is so moisturizing it's not like their other just regular lotion that's not very moisturizing at all but it's just so thick and so moisturizing and I just, I love it. And I have a, another coupon for, I think it's like another free purchase. So I might pick up another um, body cream in maybe a different scent. Or maybe I'll get like a, yeah, like a body wash or something. <laughs> Not like you guys care, but this has been like my go-to scent for the past like, two days since I've got these but yeah I like these and I'm glad I picked them up and then the two things that I'm so excited about are these little kits from Sephora now they say Sephora inside JCPenney so these might only be available in like the Sephora from JCPenney or whatever but the first kit is this meet your match uh, kind of like little gift set and it has um, three lip colors that match uh, that have the coordinating nail polish so this is what it looks like I'll actually just open this so it's not a glare alright so you get a nude formula X nail polish which is um, really really nice it's really opaque and then I got an OCC lip tar or stained gloss in hush which is a really really pretty nude I have this Deborah Lipman nail polish and girls just want to have fun. This is the Tarte Lip Surgeons in the color Alight, or Elite, sorry. This I was super excited about. It's a Bite Lip Gloss in the color Strange Fruit. And then the matching nail polish from uh, Nails Inc. in the color Devonshire Row. And this originally was $25. It's over here. I got it for $15. So this was on clearance at my um, Sephora in JCPenney. And I was like, yes, I need you. Because I was really, really excited to try an OCC stain gloss, the lip gloss from Bite. And then, like, this is just so awesome. I'm really glad I picked this up. So um, if you guys have a Sephora in JCPenney, see if they have any of this left um, on, or on clearance because this is such a great deal and you get to try out so many different things and then this one which I'm so 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 excited about this is the Summer Stash Sephora Favorites um, by Sephora Inside JCPenney and this one comes with 10 different things and this was originally $42 and I got this for $25 so this comes with a hideous case. It kind of reminds me of an Ipsy bag that we got a couple months ago. But I'm not in it for the bag. I'm probably just going to give this away. I'm in it for the goodies inside. So like I said, this one comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oh, excuse me, 8 things. The first thing in here is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which I love. And it's just a really nice... Um, sample size for your purse. I have the like really really XL size when they used to sell them and I'm still going strong on that one. And then the next thing is the Becca Skin or Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal 
which I am so, so excited to try. I've been dying to try the Becca products, but um, my Sephora does not sell it, and neither does the one that's like an hour away, which is my closest one. So hopefully I will get to try some Becca products soon. And then the next thing that's in here, which is probably one of my favorite, thing that, favorite things that's in here, this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Eyeshadow in the color Kitten. Now I'm not sure exactly how to use this. Uh, if it will focus. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. So that's what it looks like. I'm not exactly sure how to use this. I'm probably going to have to look up like tutorials or something. But I'm pretty sure this is like the number one selling um, like uh, metals eyeshadow that they have. So I'm super excited that this came. It's a really nice sample. This is a um, 1.4 grams. And then I got a Deborah Lippmann polish and this is in the Mermaid's Dream which is that really, really, really pretty greeny blue color. That gorgeous color right there. The guy was telling me that this is like one of the number one sellers from Deborah Lippmann is the Mermaid's Dream. And then the next thing is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And this comes in uh, a 2.5 grams, which I believe is the size of their eyeshadows. And I'm really excited. I've not tried Laguna before, but I know so many people talk about that this is their favorite. And yeah, I'm excited that I finally get to try it out. And then it comes with three more things. It comes with the Benefit They're Real, which I've tried before and I love. And then it comes with the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes uh, liner in the color 12L, which is a really pretty like teal blue color. And then lastly, it comes with a stained gloss test tube from OCC and this is in the color New Weight which is like a really really bright pink color and then it comes with a brush but that's not part of your little deal so yeah I thought this was an awesome little kit for you to try out a bunch of new high-end stuff I'm glad I caught this um, on clearance so I had to pick it up there's so many things in here that I wanted to try for a very long time, so I figured why not now. Yeah, I just try them in little samples. And if you have a lot of makeup like I have, those samples will last you a pretty long time. Alright, so now on to my favorites. I only have a couple here to show you, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder, which is basically just like a mattifying powder. It looks stark white in the pan, but once you blend it into your skin, it's just translucent. I used it today to um, just mattify my T-zone. I have super oily skin, and I believe this was only about $4, and it works so good. It soaks up all the oil, and it keeps you matte for a pretty long time. And then the next thing um, is this Essence Silky Touch Blush, which I'm wearing today. And I don't know if this is a new color or new to my Alta. It says new right on that little sticker. But this is in the color Autumn Peach, which is definitely right on my alley when it comes to blush colors. This is so, so pigmented. It's so that one right there. This is so pigmented and you only need like the tiniest little bit and I love it. It lasts on my cheeks for a very, very long time and I believe this was like $3. Um, I haven't tried too many Essence products but the ones I have tried I have truly loved. So yeah, those are the two. I think that whole little duo cost me like $7 at the most. And then the next cheek product is the Anastasia Contour Kit. I mentioned this last month. But I've just fallen in love with this. I'm so glad I finally got it. Um, I've been using these two colors right here, which are the matte highlight shades, to set my under eyes. And it just makes them look so flawless. And it just makes them look so amazing. And then to contour, I've been using these two on the end. I think this one is called Havana and this one's called Java. I'm pretty sure. I, like I said in my last favorites, I wish that they put like the names on the actual palette. But anyways, I absolutely love this. If you're thinking about getting it, definitely get it. It's awesome. Um, 
yeah, I just, I'm in love with it. So yeah, that is the contour kit. So the next thing I've been loving is this Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. Um, I have loved this for months and months and months. Um, I used to wear this like non-stop without trying any other palette. Um, so I put it away. I stopped using it for a couple months because I find that this is more of a fall winter time palette because the colors are so cool toned because you have that really nice taupe. Um, it's showing up more warm on camera, but this is definitely like a really dark brown. And then, of course, you have your uh, black. So what I do, I'm wearing it today. What I do is I use Venus on the lid. I buff that into the crease with just a little bit of faint. And then I just do my brow bone with Foxy. I love this palette. It's definitely a really great neutral palette. And I believe it's only... I'm not sure how much it is, but it's under $30, and I have got so much use out of this. It's just insane. I used to contour my nose with uh, Naked 2, which is that really nice taupe color. I don't contour my nose anymore, but I just, I love this, and for the price, you cannot, I just, I use it so, so much. So I highly recommend this if you are looking for a good neutral palette. Again, I do think it's more wearable in the fall and winter, but here and I still rock it because I do mostly wear gray, white, and black to work, so it kind of works with the cool tones that I wear. And then on my lips today, which I've also been loving, is the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. I've had this since, when is it? I think I got this around Christmas time. Actually, I did get it for Christmas. It's just the perfect, um, this is the perfect pink nude without being too nude or too pink. And it has that like plumping sensation. It feels really nice and cool on the lips and I just love it. It makes your lips look so shiny and so full. So I highly recommend this if you are into like the pinky nude lips. I think you would love this. And then the last thing that I want to mention is the Redken Color Extend Magnetics um, shampoo and conditioner. Um, I'm pretty sure that these came out sometime earlier this year. And I just dyed my hair um, like a dark brown with a little bit of red. You can kind of see it in the light. So I wanted to make that color last as long as I can. So when they were, when Alta was having their leader sale, I picked up the shampoo and conditioner for like, I think they were like $16 a piece or something like that. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I just made a giant mess. But I absolutely love this. It makes your hair smell so incredibly good. Like, it, the scent lingers. I love when shampoos and conditioners do that. Um, again, this is sulfate free, so it's not going to strip your hair of any color it's made for preserving color and yeah I just I really love these so if you're looking for a new shampoo and you have colored hair definitely try out the Redken line I really like the all soft as well but these have just been really great and especially if you find them for a discounted price like um, for the leader sale so that is everything I wanted to mention. I know this video got kind of long even though I didn't have that many favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.